Tali ERP9 can learn TDL and develop extensions for the product as the entire source code of the product is made available as a part of Tally development environment with our product Tally Developer 9. TDL is deployed only by use and not mere existence. Uh, this makes us understand that only by writing TDL and placing it into the Tally folder would not make the TDL active. You need to connect this TDL file with your particular Tally ERP9 application. And very important thing is Tally definition language. TDL is a non-procedural language which makes a common man write this a programming a write a program in TDL very easy and this is a glimpse of a TDL program a basic TDL program which you can just have a look it has a pink def you see on the within the square brackets is the definition it, it makes the it makes the program understand its a definition the one in the pink color is the definition type. The one on the right of the definition type is the name of the definition. Each definition has its own set of has its own set of attributes. Then the gray one are the attribute modifiers. The every attribute has its value. There are something called as formulae, there are special symbols, there are action keywords. Uh, well, this is a very basic code and the output of this code would be my first TDL text in your screen. And going further, we will understand on how do we write a TDL. Now, we move to the next chapter. TDL components as we have uh, just discussed in the previous lesson the previous presentation tdm is a language based on definitions it is an action driven language so whenever a user performs an action but a particular segment of code gets executed and it is not procedural by intent and concept. TDL enables the extension of Tally to incorporate additional functionalities or modify the existing functionalities. We have already seen that TDL language is based on definitions and we have two artifacts the interface artifacts and the data object uh, we have the interface object artifacts and the data object artifacts and we have discussed that it is a definition based language hence on this interface screen as you can see there are four visible uh, interfaces that namely are the menu button report and table. In TDL, specific definitions are provided to create the same. A report and a menu can exist independently. A menu is created by adding items to it, while report is created using form, path, line and field. These are the definitions which cannot exist without a report. TDL operates to the concept of an action which is performed on the definition, which is performed and the definition on which the action is performed. The report is invoked based on the action. Let us show you the tally screen itself. And this is the tally screen. This is the menu. From 
the end of the screen panel till this end is the report. On the top that you see and the right and the bottoms that you see here are the buttons. And this drop down box or the pop up list is known as table. Let me just repeat. This is menu. The one that you see from this top panel, the red, the green panel, till this edge is the report. The top panel, the right panel, and the left and the bottom panel that we have are the buttons. And this drop down box or this pop up list that we call is the table. The TDM program to create a report contains the definition report, form, path, line, and field, and an action to execute the report. So the basic hierarchy of any report designing is report which contains a form, form that contains part, part that contains lines, lines that contain field and field is where the contents are displayed or entered. So let us have a quick recap again. A report has a form. A form has parts. A part has lines. Line has fields. And field is where we display our data or we enter our data. Now let's have a quick recap again with a little change. A report has a form, one form in a display mode, can have multiple forms in edit mode, uh, in print mode or an export mode. A form contains vertical parts. A form contains vertical parts. A part can contain further parts or lines. However, at the end, each part should contain lines. Parts contained in parts can be horizontal. Lines are always horizontal, are always vertically sequenced. Line can further contain line or fields and at the end each line will have fields. Fields are horizontally placed in the line. A field can further contain fields. At the end finally a field will display the data. Let me repeat this once again. A report has a form in a display mode and can have multiple forms in print and export mode. Form, can, form further contains vertical parts. Part can further contain parts or lines. Please note, here we are stating Part can further contain part or lines. These contained parts can be horizontal. Lines are always vertical. If a part contains part, can further contain parts, can further contain parts. However, at the end, the, la the last part in the hierarchy should contain a line. Line can further contain line.